hi there welcome back to the channel so in this video i'll show you this soccer game which was made in chitaval 5 by a chitaval 5 user you should see his name on the screen right now and we we'll go through the game and also the events to understand how certain features of the game work and finally i have something special to say at the end of this video so stick around to the end it's a huge announcement so before we begin don't forget to like the video um, subscribe if you haven't and also share the video so we make you develop um, popular yeah we want you to develop out there competing with engines like construct 2 and game maker studio so yeah share the video let's get you to develop popular and let's begin okay now let's play the game so start game and here we have the game so pick up our ball and I can kick with this keys X and Z oh no okay I can use X and um, Z on my keyboard so I'll try and score in the game and oh no, no don't score and here we go I'm basically just running with the ball and yeah the keeper and that's the goal I can see my goal power um, right there on the screen oh no that guy's going to score no 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 okay that's one one Argentina one and Italy gets uh, one okay so I just take the ball not again no 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 I think I almost scored myself just now I clicked in um this this direction so yeah just keep running with the ball set to shoot ooh I think I shot towards the direction of the keeper that's what I did actually once again I kind of like the art of this game it's amazing and it's it's beautiful and with this we have the player which are the audience watching and Z I uh, I'm not really sure why I keep shooting towards the keeper I'm, or am I pressing the wrong key or something I think I'm pressing the wrong key and X no. Why well, have to go really close to the um go post? Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> so we get two. Uh, it's Argentina. I think I'll call this game um full time when I get like three or maybe five. Uh, three would do. If I score again, I would call it um full time. <laughs> yeah, this should be second half, but I'll just call it full time when I score again, cause. These guys are really amazing. And we also have to give credits to this AI. This, um, okay, it's half time already. Two minutes is half time. So we can play the full game. So, does really matter. Look at this enemy AI. So I want to see what events handles this AI for the enemies, for the um, opponents. So, which is Italy in this case. So, just go in. Ooh. You can see the movements which goes on um, front and backwards and they follow you um, based on a certain distance like we're into the range. Look at this. And once we're outside um, this, they stop following us. You can see this again if I go close to this um, player. There we go, you can see him following me. And if I move outside his line of vision or we can just call it his range to follow. So he follows us and that's how they all behave. So I'll just go, ooh shot in the wrong direction again why I, I don't understand why you have to like go into the um the goal post before I can score I should be able to score from an angle I'm not sure if I'm playing it wrong or something but I should be able to score without having to go into the penalty box and pick up the ball or something Ooh, no. Okay. This, well, this is an amazing game made in Chitaval. Okay, so there we go. That's um, time up. And Argentina 3, Italy 1. So we won the game. And now let's go take a look at the events. And because I really want to see how this works. Okay, so close and yeah.
Yeah, so open up the project manager. So we the game comes with um three scenes actually, and we got the we have the main scene. Main scene. Uh, we have this as an image, which is nice. I like that. And um, in our events in the menu events, what happens here? This handles the buttons. Um, this handles. Okay, so I can press F key to put it in full screen. I I put it in full screen that time by clicking on the maximize button. So we you can actually press F to do that. And we have the space key to change to game um, scene, which is nice. So next scene, control scene, and controls. Um, what happens here at the beginning of the scene? Create button. So we have a button in this scene. I can actually see it here. Take out the grid. I can only see a text in the scene. So maybe it is created at some point. So is it in the layers? No, it's not in the layers. So. Um, yeah, I thought it was in the layers. So the button should take you back to the main scene. So in main scene, and um, the last scene, which is the game scene. Now this is where the action happens. I'll take out the um, grid so we can actually see the screen. So zoom out and zoom out and zoom out. So you can see all these. Um, what should I call them? Okay, let's call them hit boxes because this kind of restricts the player's movement. This must restrict the player's movements in this case, and by setting a boundary for the player which is nice and I think this signifier is what checks if the player has scored the colliders there the player the player and, and this has to be what the rivals used for use for their movements which is nice I like the AI happen there you go so I'll just preview this while we wrap up the video okay so before we wrap up this video you can download this I'll leave a link in the description just in case you want to download this um, example this template and work with so I'll leave a link in the description for you to do that that should that should help you out with your very own game so I'll leave a link in the description to download that and the special announcements which I wanted to make is that starting from my next video I would start picking a random um, person from the comments a random person who commented on the video and yeah, create a shout out for them. So, if you wanna get if you wanna get a shout out for yourself, just just make a comment and post. Yeah, I'll create a shout out for you, and it would it would be a random shout out, so anyone can just get it. So, and yeah, that's it. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.